Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new and if you are new, my name is Danny. I create content about clean beauty. If you are not currently subscribed, I would love to have you. It would mean so much if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But anyway, in today's video, I'm going to be comparing the Ari Perez Oat Milk Foundation and the Quinoa Water Foundation. And I'm also going to test out the Ari Perez Calendula Powder Foundation. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. So the main ones that I'm kind of going to be comparing is the Quinoa Water Foundation along with the Oat Milk Foundation. So these are two of their most popular foundations. They also have a powder foundation. It is called their Calendula Powder Foundation. So I'm also going to kind of try this out along with the other foundations today just to kind of use it as a setting powder um, even though it is... A foundation um, but I'm just gonna be kind of testing that out as well so I'm just gonna start off by telling you a little bit about each of them so let's start with the Quinoa water foundation I'm just gonna open this up so this is what this one looks like it comes in kind of like a serum type looking packaging um, anyway so the Quinoa water foundation this one retails for $37 this comes in three shades so not a great shade range at all I'm not really sure why they only have three shades but they definitely need to expand that shade range for sure um, so they have three shades um, they have the shade haze which is the one that I have right here and this is the lightest shade that they have and it's described as porcelain to light skin tones. Then the middle shade that they have is called Dawn. It's for light medium to medium skin tones. And then they also have Dusk, which is for medium deep to deeper skin tones. So those are the three shades that they have for these. I had the lightest shade here. So the starting ingredient in this, of course, is the Quinoa. And Quinoa is a super green, is a super green, which is rich in antioxidants. And um, Quinoa is brimming with vitamin B, E, and A, which is considered particularly effective in reducing fine lines, treating pigmentation, and maintaining a, health, a healthy, youthful complexion. I do have hyperpigmentation from past acne, so that does intrigue me about this product. Um, so this one is supposed to be a lightweight-based vegan foundation. It's supposed to give a natural finish. Um, it's enriched with, of course, quinoa, which is supposed to help heal inflammation as well. That sounds really good. And increase elasticity. It has a black currant, which is added for antioxidants and vitamins. It says these ingredients rejuvenate while helping to reduce redness, pigmentation, and fine lines. And it glides on blendable and melts into your skin for a fresh matte finish for light or medium coverage. So this is supposed to be light to medium coverage. So then on to the oat milk foundation. So this is what that one looks like, comes in tube packaging just to squeeze out the product. I'm sorry if you hear all of that background noise. There's like a truck outside, so I'm sorry if you hear all of that noise. Um, anyway, the Oat Milk Foundation, this retails for $40. It comes in six shades, so a little bit better than the shade range for the Quinoa Foundation. But, of course, they still need to expand that. Six shades really isn't all that many shades. I have the shade Honey, which is just described as a light skin. So I feel like they also need to kind of improve on their shade descriptions. They don't really give a whole lot of information about, like, undertones and stuff like that. So that is something that they could improve on because um, Honey is just described as light skin. But, of course, the star ingredient in this one is the oat milk. And it says oats are part of the grasses family. It's why did I say family? So weird. <laughs> family. Uh, the Graminae. The O is used as an antioxidant skin conditioning agent, emollient, and has anti-inflammatory properties. It's supposed to be non-greasy and have a natural finish and a long-lasting. It's unique formula with star ingredients such as natural oat milk, peach, and vitamin E to promote healthy skin. One of our favorites for a bright youthful look. It's supposed to be a buildable foundation that offers medium to full coverage. So I'm gonna apply the Quinoa Water Foundation on this left side of my face and then I'm going to apply the Oat Milk Foundation on the right side of my face. So again, this one, the Quinoa one, is supposed to be light to medium coverage and the Oat Milk Foundation one is supposed to be uh, medium to full coverage. So I'm just gonna start off with the Quinoa Foundation. Comes in a little dropper tube, just like a serum like I was saying. Um, so I'm just going to take a pump there. I'm just going to start applying it to this side of my face. Now this goes on, like it looks tinted, like it doesn't look, it definitely doesn't look full coverage, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but it definitely goes on like a serum, it really feels, it feels like a serum, like it feels like a water, very much like a water based foundation, which is what this is. Um, and I feel like this shade is probably... I feel like it's almost like 
maybe a little bit too light for me. I mean, not bad. I can definitely work with it, but I feel like maybe um, the next shade up would work a little bit better for me. Um, so I'm just going to apply this. But yes, it definitely feels like a serum going on. But I have used this a few times and I definitely... Um, I don't find this to have a matte finish for my specific skin type. I do have combination acne prone skin and I definitely find that it has a little bit of a dewy finish. Um, not quite matte. Not really a dewy finish, but it has a natural finish, but I don't find it to be matte. And because I do have that hyperpigmentation and some blemishes, I do think that this is definitely a light coverage. At least for me, maybe if you have skin that doesn't really have any hyperpigmentation or blemishes, you might find this to be a light to medium coverage. Um, but even when I do build this up, I do still find it to give a light coverage just for my specific skin. I'm going to move on to the Oat Milk Foundation. So again, this is the shade Honey. So I'm going to go in with a brush to start and then I might go in with a sponge just to make sure it has that seamless finish here. But I'm just going to use this brush to see if I can get some more coverage this way. Okay, so I can definitely see it looks like a medium coverage right now. I can still see some of those marks poking through, but definitely much more coverage than the Quinoa Water Foundation. And this one on my skin, it is giving a, a little bit of a dewy finish, but again, I do kind of have that oily combination skin, so take that into consideration as well. But this is supposed to have, it just says a non-greasy natural finish. So I'm actually just going to go in and I'm going to apply another layer of each of them just to see how they both build. I do think that this is building the coverage a little bit, but still, honestly, I don't think it's building it enough to where I think it's medium coverage now. I still think that this is a light coverage for me. Definitely, again, it feels like a serum going on. So if you want something like very minimal, something that just has a little bit of a tint, something that's just going to provide that light coverage, maybe medium coverage depending on your skin, you just want something very simple, I think that you would like this one. So again, it's building a little coverage, but I still find it to be a medium coverage. So I don't think that it's quite getting to full coverage. It depends on your skin, what imperfections or what things you want to cover. But for me, it's definitely medium coverage, not reaching full coverage. So here is the Quinoa Water Foundation side, and here is the Oat Milk Foundation side. So I don't know if you can see the difference. I do kind of have some more blemishes on this side to cover. So the medium to full coverage foundation is definitely put, being put to test more on this side. Um, and I do have a little bit less to cover on that side. So I think that kind of works out because the Quinoa Foundation is the more like coverage foundation and then the oat milk foundation is the more um, medium coverage foundation. Alright, so now I'm going to kind of test out their calendula powder foundation. So I want to tell you a little bit about it. This retails for $34.90. comes in three shades. They have the shade light, which is described as fair light, medium, which is described as more medium olive, and tan, which is just described as tan. <laughs> so again, I feel like they need to get a, put a little bit more information about the shade descriptions just to make it a little bit easier for people to decide which shades will work best for them but of course they're definitely going to need to expand that shade range since they only have those three shades um so this is described as a weightless powder foundation a design to even your skin tone with light reflecting qualities it's natural and talc free with gentle calendula for sensitive skin that heals and promotes healthy skin breathable and foldable formula for light medium coverage and flawless effects so i'm just going to kind of apply this i guess i'm going to kind of test this out on both sides now i know i'm not testing this alone since i have the other foundation already on but I'm just going to kind of use this to set the face a little bit and add a little bit more coverage at the same time and I can definitely if you guys are interested I can definitely do a video all about this where I just use this foundation on its own so you guys can see how it works by itself and not with other products if you guys want to see how much coverage it has on its own I'm just going to kind of use this to set the face right now Oh, and I have this in the shade light. This is the lightest shade that they have. 
But now I've got that applied and I do think that this ha did a good job at kind of getting rid of some of that dewiness, just kind of setting it a little bit. So now I'm just going to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup. I'm just going to apply it on camera, but I'll speed through it if you guys aren't interested in watching this. But I'm just going to apply the rest of my makeup. Alright guys, so I've got the rest of my makeup on. If you're curious what mascara I used, I kind of applied my mascara and did my eyeshadow before starting uh, this video, but I applied the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. It's like my favorite clean beauty mascara. It's so good. And then I also just applied the same bronzer that I used um, in the crease for my eyeshadow is just the Ilia Beauty uh, nightlight bronzing powder in the shade drawn in. I just used that in the crease and then I also applied the uh, Kosas 10 second eyeshadow in the shade Globe just all over my eyelids for that bronzy color. Super quick, super easy. So when you like apply it side by side, I honestly like it's almost like you can't quite tell a huge difference between the two foundations, but they definitely do have different finishes and different coverages. So the Quinoa water foundation it definitely feels like a serum when you're applying it and it kind of dries down to a natural finish depending on your skin type if you have dry skin um, it might be a matte finish that's what it's supposed to have but I personally find it to be not quite a matte finish um, but it's not really super dewy either but I do have combination oily skin so I feel like it did look a little bit dewy but definitely I find the oat milk foundation to be a little bit more dewy still has a natural finish but because of my skin type it does look slightly dewy so the quinoa water foundation definitely has a light coverage for me and then the oat milk foundation i do think that it has a medium coverage but i can definitely still see some blemishes and some hyperpigmentation poking through um so i don't think it's quite a full coverage i do think it's a medium coverage um but of course this depends on your skin type and then the airy Perez calendula powder foundation i think it did a nice job of kind of setting things um just kind of setting the look together getting rid of any like oily shine i think that that helped with that as well and i think it might have also added a little bit of coverage as well um but like i said before i can definitely do a video all about this powder foundation if you guys are interested so if you are interested definitely let me know in the comments that is it for today's video i really hope that you guys liked it and found it helpful if you did please let me know by giving me a thumbs up if you guys do want to continue to see content from me in the future it would mean so much if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss it when i post new videos and if you guys are curious in seeing other clean beauty foundation reviews i have done quite a few other clean beauty foundation reviews on my channel i do have a playlist for that if you guys are interested so i'll link that in the description box below um, but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you all for my next video bye guys